Hi team, it's Josh. Today was Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference, where they finally announced the new Mac Pros. They're high-end computers for power-hungry professionals. They also announced a stunning new display, plus they announced a bunch of operating system upgrades, which includes heaps of new features, and they announced other new software upgrades as well. As I was watching this announcement, it really got me thinking, I wish they had announced the Mac Pro using Ryzen. Now, for those who don't know, Ryzen is a processor produced by a rival company to Intel called AMD, in fact, the main rival. And there's been a huge buzz about Ryzen. Just last week was the Computex event in which Lisa Su announced their brand new range, including what I believe to be an amazing processor, 12 cores, 24 threads for only $499 that seems to perform amazing. Meanwhile, Intel, which Apple has chosen to use for their processors, is still stuck on a legacy Skylake architecture with some enhancements on an older 14 nanometer process. And I was kind of thinking, why would I spend $5,999 on the base model Mac Pro with an eight core 16 thread processor when I could get one of these brand new Ryzen processors for 12 cores and 24 threads. So I wanted to do a little bit of an analysis today to see what is the supposed or hypothetical performance difference between these two and what could you buy for your money if you built a PC using Ryzen? Now, we all know that Apples tend to be expensive. And to be honest, I'm not a massive Apple fanboy. I'm not an Apple hater. I have plenty of Mac laptops and I've really enjoyed them. I don't have the current one because I don't like the keyboard. That being said, when Apple does something truly innovative, like that monitor that they announced today, 6K resolution, a thousand nits of brightness, 32 inches. You know, I was really impressed. I think they are pushing the industry forward there and they can charge a price premium. But on the Mac Pro, $5,999 for that processor? Let's see how it compares. All right, here we are on Apple's website looking at the Mac Pro. The first thing we're going to do is compare the processing power between it and the AMD Ryzen processor that was announced last week at Computex. So let's take a look at tech specs. So based on today's announcement, we know the $5,000 Mac Pro is going to come with an 8-core Intel Xeon W process, uh, processor. It's going to be 3.5 GHz and it will turbo boost up to 4.0 GHz. It's an 8-core 16-thread processor with 24.5 MB of cache and the uh, RAM will run at 2,666 MHz and the base model comes with 32 gigs of that. We also know that it comes with a 256 gig SSD. Let's now take a look at the Ryzen processor. So Ryzen was announced uh, the third, the second generation technically um, at the Computex event last week. Lisa Su, who's the CEO of AMD, hopped up on stage and made the announcement and they did do one benchmark versus a comparable Intel chip. So what I've done is I've assembled all the data I could find um, and put together a hypothetical comparison of how a PC that was going to be built with the AMD Ryzen 9, which is here in the red, would perform versus the base model Mac Pro for $5,000. So I put its CPU here in the middle, but because I couldn't find any information on the web about how it performs, what I've done is made some assumptions here. And the assumption I've made is that this processor, which is the one that AMD compared themselves against last week, will perform very similar to this one, excluding the cores. So I'm assuming they're both based on the Intel 14 nanometer process. Um, obviously it's only eight cores and 16 threads. I'm also assuming that they're both based on the same core architecture, which is really Skylake with a couple of revisions. So AMD claimed an improvement core to core versus this Intel processor of 18%. And the reason they got there is AMD is a little bit behind right now on instructions per clock. They do claim that due to the architecture redesign of Ryzen 2, that they gained 15% IPC there. 
They also claim that due to the change in manufacturing process down to 7 nanometers, that they gain another 25% there. So all in, they say they're going to be 18%. Um, then there's a difference in cores. Obviously, the Mac Pro is an 8-core, 16-thread machine, where the Ryzen 9 for $499, as it was announced, is a 12-core, 24-thread machine. So there's a 50% bump up there to the AMD. And the next one is, of course, turbo speed. So uh, Apple announced today that the uh, Mac Pro would obviously be well-cooled. So I would assume that in any uh, large PC that's well-cooled, um, that most of the processors would be running at their boost speed under heavy load. So Intel's boost speed in the Mac Pro is 4 gigahertz, and AMD is 4.6. So there's an increase there for AMD again of 15%. So you put these all together and you see that the AMD Ryzen hypothetically using this analysis with obviously limited information will probably perform twice as fast as the Intel in the Mac Pro. So let's now go shopping and take a look at what a PC with this processor that performs potentially twice as fast uh, would cost. So I opened up Newegg prior to this video and I put together a shopping list. So let's go through it. So the first thing is we're going to need a pretty good case. So I added in this case, the NZXT H700 for $111. Then I added in two sticks of 32 gigabytes RAM and this isn't exactly comparable to what's in the Mac Pro. The Mac Pro has ECC RAM which is more expensive uh, and it's better for creators if something happens uh, to the machine. That being said, I've never had any problems, so um, I'm going with this. And uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is this RAM is a little bit faster. It runs at 3,200 megahertz versus what the uh, Mac Pro is running at at 2,666. The next one is I wanted to put in proper cooling. So I put in this cooler, which is a very good cooler, the H150i by Corsair for $189.99. The next item is the SSD. So the Mac Pro comes with a 256 gig SSD. I found a comparable, a Samsung 970 Evo, which is a very fast SSD, uh, for 200, which is 250 gigs for $77.99. Moving along, um, I couldn't find the, the exact graphics card, which is a Radeon, a Radeon uh, 580X. So I gave Apple the benefit of the doubt and I put in the next model up, which is the um, Radeon uh, RX 590 here, because I had a choice of the 580, which I'm assuming is a little bit worse than their 580X, or the 590, which we know obviously is better than the 580. So that was $219. The next is I added in a keyboard. I added in what I believe is a much better keyboard than what comes with the Mac Pro, which is this uh, Logitech G513. It is the keyboard I'm using right now, and I love it, so $119.99. And then moving down, I added in a, um, a card here. This is a special card that enables the PC to support Thunderbolt 3, because obviously the Mac Pro comes with Thunderbolt 3, so $123. Now here, this is a pretty important addition. There are no motherboards currently on the market that are uh, 570 motherboards, which is what would be needed for uh, the Ryzen chips. It's actually not needed. Uh, you can run them on the older motherboards, the 470, like this one. Um, but I wanted to get a very, very expensive AMD motherboard to simulate what it would be like to buy a very, very expensive AMD motherboard that is the motherboard design for the AMD CPU when they're announced. So here it is, $390, which was the most expensive AMD motherboard I could get. And then here's the mouse for $136, which is the mouse I'm using right now and I think is a very good mouse. All right, so this is where I realized that I haven't actually added a power supply to the cart. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna add one of the best power supplies I could possibly find. So I'm going to add a 1,000 watt platinum rated power supply, which I believe is the best power supply I could put in this build. So I'm going to choose this Corsair one for $179 and add it to the cart. While that's happening, 
just please note that I am aware that there are other things I need to purchase like thermal paste and stuff like that, but those are small expenses and aren't really going to change the overall value prop. So now you can see that the total price is $1,718.13 and now I've just got to add in the CPU cost on top. All right, so once you chuck in the CPU, that rise in build comes from $1,700 plus plus four ninety nine for the CPU, approximately $2,200. A lot cheaper. By the way, in the video, I did mention a couple of times that the Mac Pro costs $5,000. It actually costs $5,999 for the base model, so closer to $6,000. Anyway, putting that aside, when I'm choosing my next high-powered computer to help me shift from 1920p, what you're watching now, YouTube videos, to 4K video editing, and when I'm looking for a high-performance machine to help me with my performance-based coding, I gotta admit it, that Ryzen CPU is awfully tempting and is probably gonna drive me to get a PC. I mean, hypothetically, it looks like it's twice the performance for a total system cost of around 2,200 to 2,300 with the CPU versus the Mac Pro for $6,000. That's almost three times the price. I do think Apple announced plenty of great things today. There was lots I really liked. But this one, I'm just not quite there. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit subscribe. Click that notification bell to find out when more videos are posted. Feel free, hit up the reply comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on this. And anyway, till next time, I'll catch you later.